Hey guys, we're all in the garage tonight and I'm just putzing around with a, uh, trying to make a jig to press in piston pins on one of the motors we're working on. Um, so we started this the other day and started talking about this uh, piston pin um, jig I made up. Um, I looked online, they're crazy expensive. So we ordered this uh, four inch drill press vise off of uh, Amazon for $24, $25. Then all I did is weld a piece of square tubing to here, to the top of the vise. I put a nut cert in it, 3 8 nut cert. I was able to uh, get my measurement of how far I want the piston pin to go in. So that uh, it ends up dead center when we push the pin back where it belongs. So we got, we got our measurement here, from here to the outside of the pin. Then I thread my bolt in, lock it down where I want it. When we heat up the rod, we'll slide the pin in there. We'll put our rod tight against this side so when we slide it in all the way to my stop it'll end up where we want it and then when we push it back it'll be centered and we'll be all ready to go but uh that's just a quick little trick we came up with and obviously we got to heat the rod up for a couple minutes get it good and warm we'll show you that process when we get going on it but uh i think this is going to work pretty good so made a nice little jig for under 30 dollars and uh we don't have to buy this expensive deal or take it to a machine shop to get these pressed in Okay guys, I'm trying to show you one handed. Hopefully it'll work. I'll have to set it down. Anyway, I oiled this pin up. We're going to heat the rod up for about two minutes. Kind of keep moving around. You'll, you'll see the color change. Hey guys, I'm messing with putting some pistons and rods together on a Tweety 9 motor and uh, started pressing the pins in. And of course, when I started trying to film for you guys, I uh, put one in backwards, the rod on the wrong side. So I thought I'd just show you a quick video of uh, my little jig I made to remove these uh, pins from the pistons. Basically, I just took a piece of 12-inch uh, black pipe and notched it out so it misses the piston skirt there or the piston uh, rim, um, but a piece of threaded rod. And then I got a socket that just fits, just a little bit smaller diameter than the uh, pin, so it fits through my rod. Double nutted this, I take my hold my wrench on here with my impact, and we uh, take, take the impact and drive this in, and it pops right out. This one's just about out. If you look down there, you can see my socket's just coming through. Make sure you oil these really well when you're doing this. Um, I basically made a jig when, and then I was using a torch to heat these up, and I was uh, trying to film for you guys. It got a little cold when I was partway through it, so this one got uh, on backwards, and I didn't have time to press it out. So I just thought I'd show you this little jig, how neat it works. Kind of a, a quick little fix. You guys use presses and stuff, and you know, breaking the pistons. This is a good way to save your piston. Don't need damage to it. Uh, works pretty smooth. Okay, guys, so it's all pressed out. You can... You can see no damage to the rod. Anyway, you can see the rods are decent. Nothing wrong with the pin. Didn't get any damage to it. Hey guys, hopefully that little jig uh, helped you out as far as trying to press uh, the wrist pins out of your pistons and getting your rods off in them. Um, again, like I said, I was filming and made a mistake. That tool works really good for getting them out. You don't have to use your press. Worry about damaging the pistons. Um, if you can, put a washer against the piston. Uh, screw it if you can, but. Even with that pipe, I just kind of clean up the edges so it's not sharp. It doesn't leave any end dents. doesn't mess with the edge of the piston. works really slick. You're not putting them in your shop press and taking the risk of breaking a piston. Um, so hopefully you guys stay tuned. We'll be uh, starting to slam this 289 back together. I'll probably get the rods on this week and uh, start putting it, assembling the short block. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And hit that like button.